a few hours ago we picked up an atmospheric fluctuation, another one, and it seems to concentrate on the access line from the Aleutian Islands in the north to New Zealand, and it's a little bit to the west, a little bit to the east. This one is a little bit to the east, as you can see, it's more towards Alaska, and it goes to the east of Fiji, the Kermadec Islands. It's a rough estimate, again, and it's interesting that on the 7th we had a fluctuation right from the Aleutian Islands down to New Zealand. Then we picked up a fluctuation a little bit to the west, more towards the Santa Cruz Islands. And of course, we already had a magnitude 7 earthquake in Vanuatu. And now we have a fluctuation that seems to be concentrating a bit more to the east from Alaska down to Kermadec Trench. I wouldn't emphasize these atmospheric fluctuations so much if it weren't for the critical planetary geometry that I covered multiple times since 8 January, and that is the geometry involving Saturn. You should know that by now. If you missed it, we have Mercury, Venus and Saturn in a conjunction that was this morning, and also the Moon with Earth and Saturn. And there could be a high 7 magnitude earthquake and Alaska, Aleutian Islands could certainly have, the Gulf of Alaska could certainly have such a large seismic event. It is not uncommon that such an earthquake follows on this particular planetary geometry involving Mercury, Venus and an outer planet. So I emphasize this. It very much depends on Earth's crust, the stress levels, whether or not we're going to have a large seismic event or maybe some seismic increase. Nobody knows that for sure, we don't know that, but there are indications and we can anticipate larger seismic activity. So be on watch in the next couple of days, 12, 13, 14 most critical, could be tomorrow already if it arrives early. So be on watch just in case. Until next time. <laughs>